Hello and welcome to my channel. Anyway, I just wanted to show you our chicken eggs. And then I'll show you our chickens. And I opened it up already and it's in there today. Yes. Anyway. Let's go see what we got. Today. She laid the egg in the box. See, this is a wooden egg. And that one, right there. This one. It's the egg. See how small it is? Because we only have one chicken laying. And we had this indoor outdoor carpet in there. And I put the little wood shavings on there. And they pull the carpet out. And they don't like the carpet. Even covered with wood shavings and dirt, anything I can cover it with. These chickens are picky. So we have our one egg today because that's what we're getting. And I'll show you all our chickens. I'm just gonna let it slam shut because I got an egg in my hand. It's from one of our Easter egg givers. And that's one of the Last chickens we got. I'll take my egg. You see all the pallets and the metal. And we got our chickens the end of May, so they're not quite laying yet. But they're well any day now. Any day now. Last time we had 14 chickens and they laid 10 to 14 eggs a day. So, and you can see they're all going crazy. Where's my treat? Where's my treat? We laid our egg. Only one of them laid an egg. But that's what we've been getting lately. I'm going to get them their treat. Which is like, right now it's a mixture of wild birds eating corn. Oh, and I've been trying to find that oyster shell calcium online, and everywhere I go to find it, it's it's mixed with all these other things. And I just wanted the oyster shell. And a lot of them have bad reviews saying their chickens won't eat it because it's not oyster shell, and the chickens will eat oyster shell. So, yeah, I'm just throwing it and watching them run. Sometimes I have to go in there. At the very top of that ramp right there is usually where she lays that egg. She won't usually lay it in the box. At first it was, oh, there's indoor, outdoor carpeting in there. And then So then I tried putting dirt on top of it and she still pulled it out and she's pulled it out of three of them. So I don't know if she's the only one pulling it out, but you can see we have 23 chickens. I've counted them. We had 24. One of them got away when it was a baby because it was in that fencing with the PVC and stuff like that. So one of the dogs had put a hole in it a while back and one of the neighbor's dogs and one of the little baby chickens. I told my husband to check it. He said he checked it. He couldn't find the holes. But then later, after one of the baby chickens got out, because it could fly up out of that metal, I guess it's like a water trough or jump up, fly enough to get out of it. You get out of the fencing. And so, we still have 23. And the Easter eggers, one of the Easter eggers is laying. And you can see the red around their beaks. You know, you look at the top, they say, and underneath it where the little, the top comb and the little wattles at the bottom around. You can see that they're getting ready to lay their eggs. We got the Isa Browns. And then we've got the I can't remember what the other ones were called. Red something or other. The ones with the little black on the end of their tail and they're brown, dark brown. They're supposed to be good egg, egg layers too. So 
We didn't have any East Eggers last time. We only had the... I can't remember what the red ones are called. Red something or other? And then the Icy Browns. We got them from Tractor Supply. But see, the Easter Eggers, you can tell. They're... Especially that one. You can see how they're all ready to lay eggs. You can see it around their faces. Because they got that big old pink comb and the red thing underneath it. So pretty soon we'll be having like almost two dozen eggs a day. And eggs, we went to the grocery store to buy eggs. Oh, they are, what, three to four dollars a dozen. And where we live, you can get farm fresh eggs anywhere from a dollar fifty to, I don't know, three fifty a dozen. Usually a dollar fifty to three dollars a dozen out here. There's one guy I know who sells them for a dollar fifty a dozen, and there's a whole bunch of people that sells them for three dollars a dozen. So, and so we might sell some of ours. They say that when you go to sell chicken eggs, that you should give them, like you go take somebody, see if anybody wants eggs, and you take a dozen, and you give them, and find out if somebody wants some, and then you give them that first dozen for free, and then after they eat those, if they want them, what do they have to pay for? And that's the way you're supposed to sell them, they said. Like you take a dozen to work, see if anybody wants foreign fresh eggs. And they're so good. They're so good. They taste like butter. Because I used to eat eggs from the grocery store and I loved them. And I can make the deviled eggs easier with the eggs from the grocery store. But trying to make deviled eggs with the eggs from the chickens, I, I, I have a really hard time getting the shells to peel off. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. They say put baking soda in there. And some people say start with cold water. Some people say with hot water. And I've, I always put salt in there. And I don't know. It's just hard. And so other people say it's because the eggs are too fresh and too new and you have to use older eggs. But when you go to fry the eggs or scramble them, farm fresh eggs, if you've never had them, they taste like, oh, it's like butter. It's like the best flavored butter is what it tastes like. It is so good. But then once you eat the farm fresh eggs, when you go to eat the grocery store legs, eggs, you're like, ew. And if you go to a restaurant where they have like grocery store eggs where they're leaving them sit out in the restaurant and they're cooking them, they taste like so yucky after you've had farm fresh eggs. So you can see that Easter egg around the top of her head and the around her chin, how she's ready to lay eggs. So, yeah. Anyway, I went to go find oyster shells, and everywhere I go to get oyster shells, it's always got all this other stuff mixed in, or at least one other ingredient. And there's one of them that I found that's just oyster shells, but I checked online, and all the stores are out of it, and I can't get it delivered, and I'd have to pay a fortune for it, and then a fortune for the shipping, so I'm just, just going to have to wait on that a week or two and see what happens. It's, unless you know of somebody that's got oyster shells that don't have anything added in. Because I don't want all that other stuff added in. So, I just wanted oyster shells. And then some of them sell them and they say just oyster shells. But then they say they're oyster shells and seashells. And I just didn't want oyster shells and seashells. I just wanted oyster shells. So... I got the one water turned sideways. My husband turned it sideways, and that's the one they drink out of all the time. We got the other three, and they're, like, disgusting. He needs to clean them out, but the one that's turned sideways, they all drink out of that one. He'll clean it out, probably. He needs to get some from work. I might go in there and do it later. Look at that chicken sitting on their food. Isn't that cute? That's one of the Easter eggers. Like, I'm king of the food. Anyway, so I wanted to show you my one egg. Because I've been getting one egg a day. And usually it's at the top of that ramp. And if I find it at the top of the ramp, I was going to take a video of it, I would get it. But And usually they don't lay it till 
uh, about 10 or 11 o'clock. So, and the other ones just aren't laying yet. But they look for their treat. And I'm like, what do you mean your treat? You ain't even laid me no eggs yet. Anyway, those are my chickens today. And I thought I would do a quick little video. And my husband's still working on widening it. He worked seven days at work last week in a row. And he hasn't had a day off since. So he's probably going to end up working 13 or 14 days in a row before he has a day off. And then I don't know if he'll have the energy to widen it yet. But he's been working on it. When he can. When he's not too tired. A lot of hours. And there's the door. That was from, we did that PVC pipe thing. Because we saw that video online years back with the PVC and the fencing and how it would keep critters out. And boy, that sure didn't work at all. You can see the wood on the bottom of it. Because he had to put wood all the way around the bottom of it to keep critters out. And he is reusing the door and it's a short door but and this is a little tiny door at the bottom it's not a full door it's just at the bottom to be able to open for the chickens to go through and he'll use that so and he's gonna put he's not putting a metal roof on this side just the fencing and then he's gonna put fencing on the top and fencing on the sides so that the chickens have more room because he said we should get more chickens this time. And I said, we'll get more chickens if you widen it. And he said, okay, I'll widen it. So we got more chickens and he hasn't widened it yet. So I said, well, you better widen it because I think the chickens need more room. So he said, okay, I'll do it. Okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your, the video and I hope it helps. I've got a few other videos where I've been doing research about people say they're mixing their own scratch and their own grains for the chickens. And... So, some of them are mixing their own feed, and they're saying their feed has like 13% protein. No, 16. A lot of them say their feed has 16% protein. And I went to do the math, and a lot of them only have like 10% protein. Some of them might have 12% protein, and occasionally they might have 14% protein. And I found one the other day that has like 16% protein, but she was saying it had 20% protein. And another one said hers had 30 or 40% protein, and it had like 15% protein. So... That's according to my calculations when I try to do the math, but maybe my calculations are wrong. So we're still using that store-bought stuff that says 16% protein, and then I just give them a treat during the day. And we have we have those um, black sunflower seeds and some wild bird seed, and we have right now we mix some corn into it. So. It's whatever I mix into the top of it because we have a lot of that black little sunflower seeds and a lot of the wild bird seed that's in there. So it's just, and sometimes I'll just mix chicken scratch into the top of it. It's just whatever I got at the time, and that's just their treat. So anyway, soon we'll have some oyster shell calcium, <laughs> hopefully, because. I might just give in and buy that stuff that's not all oyster shell calcium, but I probably won't. I will probably just wait. Anyway, please feel free to leave comments, and I hope you love my chickens because I think they're beautiful. Anyway, have a great day. Bye-bye.